Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. Okay, RVSM stands for reduced vertical separation minima. It is applicable from flight level 290 till flight level 410. We already seen in CVSM, conventional vertical separation minima above flight level 290. There are only four flight level available whether you are going eastbound or westbound. Now as the technology improved, computers came, altimeter became more reliable. So if the aircraft is fitted with certain equipment, So, equipment required to fly in RVSM airspace. When you fly those airplane, they are aircraft specific also, there might be little variation. But this is as per generic ICAO requirement. If you fly Airbus, you will find there are certain parameters required up to certain flight level, they are different. You fly Boeing, it is little different. But if you have those five equipment on board, then you can fly in reduced vertical separation minima. The first thing is, now here what I have written is two separate altimetry system. It is not altimeters because on all those bigger airplane you have air data computers, screens. So they are two separate altimeter and they are separate and they are independent. It means if one fails, other is not affected. So technically two separate and independent altimetry system means static system whatever you required we have separate system independent that is one. The second is you have autopilot capable of maintaining or what they call it holding plus minus 50 feet of selected whatever level you have selected means you have autopilot the with the proven in fact rvsm there is a certification normally it is done for the fleet or done for the independent aircraft the agencies who certified those aircraft to fly under rvsm many private jets when they buy or something they separate testing procedure for rvsm airspace or for the RVSM certification. So you have autopilot which can maintain whatever you select plus minus 50 feet. Now let's see even if your autopilot fails you have a backup system for this. The third equipment which you require is let's say in case of autopilot, autopilot malfunction or something it is not able to hold the specified altitude. In case let's say autopilot fails or something happens, you have a altitude alert system in the cockpit. Means whatever you have selected, due to whatever reason, if altimeter is altitude is or your flight level is deviated by plus minus 300, you will have audio kind of thing and then you have some warning indicator, altitude alert system. I understand understanding that you are putting that built-in safety in the equipment. You have two separate and independent altimeter, you have autopilot which can maintain that altitude within great accuracy and then you have alert system in case due to let's say autopilot failed there is something to generate alert for you and then you have there is something is called mode S transponder again we study in uh, radio aids, the transponder is basically it is interacting with all the aircraft around and plus the controller can see your altitude on his screen that is transponder. So when the who's ever the radar controller or the monitoring agency is there, they can see your uh, altitude and the accuracy is plus minus 25 feet. 
in mode S they are different we will see transponder SSR in that even the controller can see your accuracy whatever you have been assigned in case something happens you can see a plus minus 25 feet. So there is another safety feature that you have a mode S transponder and this mode S transponder also is linked with something called TCAS 2. Usme bhi there are different version when you fly those airplane version 7 like is the software kind of versions are there. TCAS 2 is on board means that is TCAS stands for traffic collision avoidance system. Let us see if everything fails and you are going to collide there is someone who will generate alert for you traffic, traffic, climb, descend with all these features if they are available and certified. In that case the you can fly in. RVSM airspace reduce vertical separation minima from flight level 290 to 410 means if the minimum separation in CVSM was how much about 2000 feet was about 29 flight level 290 was 2000 feet now can reduce to 1000 feet. So now irrespective if you are going east it will be all odd if you are going west it will be all even. But Definitely you need to have this equipment, aircraft specific when you fly those aircraft there is a time you will see. Okay, so we will continue this RVSM tomorrow what happens. Chalo, aaj ke liye this is your captain Surinder Singh.